Hello, hello. Let's see if I can see them. Yeah, now it goes here. Is there anyone here yet? I see there are four people watching. So. I'm just gonna wait a little bit and see if there is anyone else coming up. Say hi if you're there. We're gonna play with tax today. Hey! <laughs> hey there from Austria. So there's a lot of guys here. So does it mean that you're a dorm and that you're waiting for, that you're here for some inspiration on playing with your submissive. Hey, Aisha. I have a photo, what do you mean? Thank you, Dominant. <laughs> so how many of you do have a submissive that they can pl actually play with and create a tag bra from or that you can have them make one? I was actually expecting a little bit more of the masochist submissive size. Brilliant, Larry, thank you. You do? That's wonderful. Okay, that's awesome. I really like tag bras. Um, before we start, could you please all like the video? I would like to have your likes, all of you. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be definitely a good video. So, okay, great, you have a slave. This is not just for masochists, although masochists love it, uh, because if you create a tech bra and you, you just let them wear it, it's mainly um, a physical sensation. It doesn't really have to be very intense or very painful. Uh, I like to make it a bit more painful because I'm uh masochist <laughs> i like pain for me pain and pleasure are very connected but um um well it doesn't have to be i'm not sure so let's just start i don't have a lot of time because i would like to see my master tonight if you don't mind haha <laughs> um this is what you need you need tags i'm going to show you the kind of tags that i'm using there are different types of tags and you probably know it. I like the colored ones, especially if you use a transparent tape, it looks nice, but you need the flat ones like this because otherwise they're gonna move too much. So make sure that you have tags. I'm not sure if you're gonna, if you know, if you have it both, uh, if you have it too, but I'm just gonna show you how to make it. I'm gonna change the camera a little bit lower so you can see what I'm actually doing. You need duct tape. And you need scissors, that's all. The only thing that I'm doing is after I created the tag bra, I'm going to soak the tags in alcohol to make sure, because usually when you, you have to put them through the duct tape and there will be a little bit of glue and I use it to take it off. Okay, so I'm gonna change the camera now. So you can see what I'm actually doing. There you go. I need to change this camera too because I'm recording it. Okay. So, okay. So, um, basically, a tag bra is just made from two layers of duct tape that you connect to each other. So, how you start is you just cut two pieces because you want to cover the whole breast. You, you will need two pieces. Um, I told you before, this is also a very uh, useful, uh, to, I mean, you can also use it for, um, um, for tech panties or, uh, so also if you have a male submissive, techs are also very nice and there is also plenty of stuff that you can make it that's, that's uh, for tucks here too. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm not sure if you can see it, I can probably do it better here. I'm, I'll make sure that they're glued together. So I have a little bit a bigger side. So now it looks like this, you see? This can cover my breast, pretty much. If you want to make it bigger, it's of course it's possible. So the way that I am using it is I am going to put the tags through the, uh, through the duct tape but, uh, from the... Um, and now I don't remember anymore. <laughs> from the side that's very gluey. Yes, this is the right one. Because you want to have the tags like this. And then it only needs to go through this. So all you need to do now is to make sure that you have as many tags as possible. It also depends, of course, how intense you want to make it, how many you put in them. It's actually not very complicated. But I had to fit I also had to figure this out. This, this took me like a full day of research to figure out, and a few attempts also that failed in the beginning to make sure that I had a good one that I liked and that actually worked. This is the way that it actually works. So, I'm not going to show you. I put six, six tags in now here and it looks like this. You see? Looks pretty aggressive, no? <laughs> course it's going to be a lot of fun the only thing is that I forgot to bring the bra so I need to get it so I can show you how to apply it also because that's also of course necessary because usually uh, as you know I don't wear bras I'm not allowed to so when I wear a tech bra I need to have one and I'm going to show you how in a minute. So I need to get out of that for this. <laughs> Sorry for that. Just going to finish this. I hope you're all working with me. You're also doing your crafting or having your submissive do it. Um, by the way, I saw something saying something about yeah, you, you have to do it on the sticky side. You stick them in from the sticky side. Correct. And I saw someone who said, I can use this to punish my submissive. If she's not into pain, you can definitely use it to punish it. My master doesn't use it to punish me because he uh, he knows that I love it too much. <laughs> it's not a good way. To, for me, it's not good to punish me with pain anyway. And usually if he punishes me, it's like... I need to sit in a corner uh, on rice and uh, think about what I did and how I can improve my behavior. That's the kind of punishments that I get if I get punished anyway, because we're not really into a punishment relationship. So if I'm not doing something and I'm not having a good reason, it's something that we we, we use it to discuss it because often it means that there is something wrong. Okay, well, I'm quite far now. It's a bit a small one, but I'm just gonna put a few more in it. I like to use a few different colors because just because it looks nice. You won't see anything of it, by the way, because I'm going to put the other, um, some more duct tape over it. Okay, this is what it looks like on this side. Ah, okay, duct tape is very sticky as you can see. This is not good. So you need to be careful with it. It's fine, this is how it looks. This is the other way how it looks. Okay, so now the next thing that you're gonna do is you need to be, oh, I'm going to cut this because I messed it up a bit. Um, yeah, won't use it anyway. Of course, I can make it a lot bigger than it is now. 
but then you'll just have to wait for some. Ah, I'm just gonna put the bit because I would like to use them after this. I'm not working. I'm not making them for nothing, huh? So just let me put in a few more tags. Of course, I always make sure that there is a tag, uh, at least one, uh, that's going where my nipple is. <laughs> you need to make me careful, by the way, with um, tag bras. Those are made from, I think, copper. I'm not entirely sure. But the point is that if it gets dirty, for instance, uh, you, you wear it and it's, uh, it's going to go through the skin and there's a bit of blood, after that you cannot use the tech bar anymore. You have to create a new, another one. So fortunately, techs are not very expensive. And as you can see, I'm quite handy with it now. So I make one like every month or so each time that my master is going to punish me with it or let me wear it then i usually after that i have to wear another one okay now what you do is you cut another piece be careful because it's so sticky see here it goes again okay and you just put it over the text like this so you don't have anything sticky anymore. Just make sure you do it on the back side. Okay, I need one more. And then it's fully covered, as you can see. Now it's fully covered. And usually what I do is I cut it so it looks nice and round. So it's actually kind of breast shaped. And I have a tech bra. Here are all the tags. As you can see, they're fully covered. And then here, you can see here are all the, all the tags. I'm gonna, I need to, um, to leave you for a few seconds. I'm gonna take a bra so I can show you how to put it in. Just give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, I use this. It's just a very simple thingy that you can buy pretty much anywhere and it's very tight. Just gonna show my face again. This is very tight and you can make it as tight as possible. Uh, it's just like, well, uh, it's, it's not, not hurting anywhere. So all you need to do is when I put this, so I'm not gonna do this on uh, on uh, on YouTube because a sport bra works works too. If the sport bra is tight enough, uh, I use always this one, not the sport bra. But sometimes my master lets me he lets me wear it when I'm running. And just so you know, I'm running marathons, so I'm also doing quite a long training sometimes. I just let me run for a 10k or so, and I have to wear my sport bra. The point is that so all you need to do is like this. You just put it in and just make sure that it covers your breast. As long as you don't put a lot of pressure on it, it's, it's actually quite okay. Um, but as you can imagine, the moment that I'm starting to run, my breasts are going to move up and down and then it's going to scratch my skin. Um, to me, most of the fun is when not just with the tech bra, but after when I'm wearing it. Of course, you can play with it in a lot. Uh, you cannot see me wear this, uh, Peter. I'm not here to uh, to have people uh, enjoy my uh, my show on this. Okay. Um, so the the fun thing what I like with this is um, 
Um, uh, but I'm, I have to tell you, I'm a true masochist, but maybe for punishment as well, uh, is uh, when I have worn this, so I'm back and I take this off, then my skin might be broken on some places. Really nice to combine it with a bit of salt or a bit of lemon juice. And if you're a true masochist, you can even use something like Tabasco or something. But please, 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 I wouldn't recommend that. For starters, this is for high end and for a true pain slot. So really be careful with that. But a bit of salt to play with. It's, I mean, it's uh, you. You probably have felt it if you were if you ever swam in the sea, and your uh, skin was broken somewhere. You had a little wound somewhere. You know what it feels like. That's what it feels like. But then in 20 different places on a very sensitive place. So I really like playing with this. I think this is a great tool for masochists. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. And I think you can have, I don't think I would be able to bear anything like that, but pro but you're probably not a submissive and probably not a pain slut, are you? I am. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm a masochist. I run marathons, that's true. I'm doing also, uh, <laughs> I swim in the sea when it's snowing. I do a lot of things that are quite masochist, I think. <laughs> this is just proof that duct tape is the most important substance in the universe. I so agree with that. <laughs> you can use it for anything. And of course, I mean, I just made this for my bra, but you can, you can put this anywhere. My master also made me make pants and then made me ride my bike with it. it was also very interesting, I can tell you. So, this is just one of the ways that you can play with it is as a bra, and then you can make a lot of uh, uh, fun things with it. B, um, how would you go on to use it in pants? So what you can just put, like you make the bigger ones, the bigger pads, and you put them on your ass. That's fine. Uh, for true masochists, you can also make like a pad, like when you're having your period, what you put in your panties. Uh, you could use that too, and that's also for males can be of course very intense. So there's so many ways that you can play with it. Um, be careful where you put it. I think I like it a lot on the, uh, I, what I found out is that I had, I once, uh, the first thing I, I made was uh, panties, like uh, uh, real like lingerie. And I made the one that was uh, going all the way, but where my bone is from my hips, that's very painful and that's not the fun kind of pain. So I use this only on places where there is a lot of meat, so to say. So this is how I would use it. Okay, well, have fun. Please don't forget to like this video. And I hope that you all downloaded my book already. If you haven't done that yet, let me put the link in the, in the, where is it? Bookshelf. Let me put the link in it because I just wrote an amazing book and I'm getting really, really amazing uh, recommendations also and reviews. And I, just, I want you all to read it and have it, of course. So if you don't have it, then please go download it here or order it. I mean, the cover is fantastic. So I think it would really look really nice on your coffee table. It's called Sex, Truth and Freedom. And um, well, I, I had some amazing reviews about it. It's, it's a kind of the combination between Eat, Pray, Love and Fifty Shades of Grey. So it has some steamy scenes in it, but also like, well, spirit kind of some kind of spiritual journey. It's about how I got into BDSM. And um, well, I think it's a great book. So uh, Asha, you said, is it more under the breast? No. Well, I made now I really I made a, quite a small one. Usually I would make a, a little bit bigger one and then it would cover pretty much my whole breast. Uh, what is your rules? Can you tell us? I will tell you about my rules in the next meeting if you're okay, because I would like to keep this one a bit short and also a bit on topic uh, because I'm going to spend the rest of the evening with my master. Uh, he, well, he kind of told me that I should be ready at... Uh, 8.45, so, and I need to prepare for that. So it was wonderful to spend time with you and I hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a lot of fun. If you're looking for um, assignments with this, uh, if you buy the book, there is a link in it. 
uh, where you can get four weeks of assignments for free. And I'm going to uh, start an, a whole database with assignments because I love making assignments and I have like hundreds of them. So send your master my greetings. I will do that. Go get ready. Thank you for a wonderful chat. Mm, love you guys. See you in the next one.